Good morning. This is Brett, your thankful carnivore, and this is today's thankful carnivore report for May 9th, a Thursday, 28, 2019. What year is it, Brett? <laughs> 2019. And this is a special edition. And here's why it's a special edition. Because when I recorded my original Periscope, as I do every morning on the Periscope app, it flaked out on me for the first time and locked up. After I finished recording and hit stop, it just locked up tighter than a drum. And then I couldn't download it to save it to my camera roll, which means you don't get to upload it to YouTube. I got to share it on to Twitter like usual, etc. But I'm like, I know people who watch this on YouTube who are going to wonder what happened. Well, now you know what happened and you're still getting your episode. Today's episode, I called it the roller coaster and the goodness in the morning. I probably called it something else at the original thing, but it's the same thought. Woke up this morning, fixed my breakfast. I'm having a great day. It's all going well. My beautiful wife gets up. She starts fixing her breakfast, and I hear some of the saddest words you could ever hear at our house. What's wrong with the air fryer? Something's wrong with the air fryer? And the element stopped not only producing light, but it stopped producing heat as well. Dead air fryer. My first thought was, oh my God, what am I gonna do for bacon? Oh. Now let me explain something. There's more to the reason why we use air fryers than just the fact that it makes perfect bacon. Although, what other reason do I really need besides that it makes perfect bacon? But additionally, it cuts down on the heat being generated and put out into our home. Now, we live in North Florida and in an old stone bungalow. And if you like hot, oppressive weather, Florida is your place. Come on down. You're going to love it. Especially when the temperature doesn't cool down enough at night to cool your home down. Because then you have to start paying attention to things like how much heat am I generating while I'm cooking? Because it costs almost twice as much money to cool that heat down <laughs> in our lovely domicile as it does to generate it. So you have to think about these things because otherwise you're going to end up with a four or $500 electric bill every month. And I don't know about you, but I could buy better bacon instead of spending that much on the light bill. <laughs> so when an air fryer goes down, <laughs> it's not a good thing because you can't just start think, well, I'll use the oven or I'll use the stovetop because you spend twice as much money trying to cool your house back down. That's another reason why we're getting ready to start firing up the grill because it's so much easier. It saves time and pretty much you can cook anything on it and all the heat stays outside and your electric bill doesn't go as high. So I get to Walmart. My wife dropped me off at Walmart this morning because it's only a mile from the house. You know, I've talked about, I've walked down there many times. It's not a big deal. And I find this, what looks to be a serviceable air fryer that's only going to be, this air fryer's the temp. This air fryer's the one that's going to be used when the one we really prefer using is broken. It sounds crazy. Makes sense to us. Think about it. It'll make sense to you eventually. Maybe. Or maybe not. Anyhow, so because there's a really nice handle on this box, because the box is awkwardly sized naturally, so putting it on my shoulder to carry it's not really feasible. And I'm like, I'm not going to spend 7 or $8 on a lift when I can walk this sucker home. So I did. And let me just say that it was... Thankfully, it was a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful, sunny morning here in North Florida. And I got my cardio in for the day. 
<laughs> and uh, it's not because it was so much heavy. It was just the awkwardness due to the size of the box and the angle of your arm hanging out from your side. It was, and you're changing hands and people are watching you and probably laughing. And I don't care because I know at lunch, I got something to make my perfect bacon with. And then I get home to discover that my friend, Scott Mislinski, the host of the Carnivore Cast. This is one of the most incredible podcasts that you could ever listen to for information and testimonials from carnivores such as myself and others. Everybody from Sean, uh, Georgia Ede, uh, gosh, I can't even remember all the people who've been on here. Uh, Amber O'Hearn's been on there. Uh, just I, the list goes on. I, I, I'm not even just go check out the Carnivore Cast, okay? Paul Sal, Dr. Paul Saldino's been on it. I'm going to leave people off. Don't be offended. I can't. I don't have the list committed to memory. Sorry. I just go to the website. It's a really great informative podcast. I recommend it highly to everybody. And one of the reasons why it's so special to me is that's the first podcast where I shared my story with the world. And the goodness that has was put out in that episode by Scott and myself has come back to bless us so many times over. I, I'm, I'm not even going to go into all the ways it has. It just has. And some of those things you people are aware of. But there's a lot of it behind the scenes. It's just been so wonderful that I've kept private b between us as friends. And, and it's just been a beautiful multi multiple layers of goodness have helped so many people. Just so many people from that podcast. And it helps informing people, giving people hope, telling people how different ways of living the carnivore life. Because Scott interviews a wide variety of people, professionals, accredited health professionals, and then everyday folks like me, who I'm not in the medical field, but I experienced something truly profound by losing Lifelong depression, anxiety, and insomnia by eating meat and drinking water. Scott Malinsky makes, creates a doorway for so much goodness to get out into the world. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Think about putting your own goodness out into the world. Whether it's by saying a kind word to a neighbor on your way to the corner store. Or at the checkout line or in a bulletin at church, or in a, an op-ed to your local community newspaper, or on social media in a way that suits your skills. Goodness, man, it comes back to us when we put it out into the world, people. Something Jordan Peterson, Dr. Jordan Peterson talks about frequently that I really am a huge fan of. Today, I want you to put as much goodness into the world as you can in a way that suits your skill set. And it's got to be genuine. It's got to be honest. It's got to be from the heart. Have a beautiful day. Eat your meat. Drink some water. And be thankful.